Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my fine friends. <laughs> Bit of a different one today. Um, I thought I would do an unboxing video of the, uh, the Fillmore Deluxe um, LP set. So I've been talking this, I got this, I picked it up, I picked it up yesterday or today? I picked this up today and got it home, but then I had, um, I had to go coach soccer tonight. So I thought maybe I'd just do this in the evening um, after my Queen podcast record. So I did my Queen podcast tonight with my friend Randy uh, and I've got a couple of beers. So I might be a little bit more vowel-y than consonant -y tonight, but we'll see. And I don't know how to do an unboxing video because I've never watched it. I just know they exist. Actually, I've only seen one unboxing video and that was the um, in the lap of the pods, guys, um, the Queen podcast, which was just the most hilarious, amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. But anyways... So, six LPs. I've been waiting for this one. Um, I actually ordered this uh, from my local record store, The Vinyl Exchange in Saskatoon, and they brought it in. And I think I ended up paying less than I would have done if I'd ordered it from the Tom Petty store and got shipping. So, obviously, they get, you know, discounted rates on shipping and they can ship in bulk. So, But they weren't going to bring this one in. Um, and I emailed them and asked them if they were bringing it in. They said no, but they would special order it for me. So I'm very grateful that they uh, that they did that. So the first thing to do is open this bloody plastic. And I'm always so nervous about opening plastic on these things just because, you know, you don't want to damage the box. So I said I'd just go in with a bit of a, a bit of a, a knife there and cut that open. And I'll say this because I do want to keep the, uh, I want to keep the sticker on the front. So take the plastic off there and we'll lay that down. Okay, so... When we open the box, let's see. Yeah, it's quite a tight fit. There's the front, obviously, again. Beautiful matte finish. It's pretty good construction, I think. And then we've got the little tab, so we've got a little tab here so we can pull up and we can open things up. But I'll see if I can grab what's on top here. Okay, so the first thing we have, I'm guessing, is all the additional stuff. So, what do we have in here? Well, Got an envelope with all the oh, oh man oh man oh man oh man. Tom Penny the Heartbreak is the Fillmore House Band patch. Um, the laminate access all areas. Tom Penny the Heartbreak is the Fillmore San Francisco 1997, which is super cool. Then a pack of picks. Should I open these? Because they lose the value as soon as you've opened the thing, right? I'm gonna open it. And honestly, friends. I'm probably actually going to use them. Probably going to play with these because I don't care. Tom Petty, Scott Thurston, and Mike Campbell. So Scott says the Fillmore House. Well, they all say the Fillmore House band on the back, and then you've got Scott TP and MC on the front of those. See so if I can zoom that in a little bit. See if I can zoom that in a little bit on the uh, when I do the edit. Or I could even take photos for you, couldn't I? Maybe that. Also, we've got. Oh, these are so flipping cool. These are the set lists. So you can see like they're the, the replica, replica set lists. So obviously these were printed off for the band. Um, and I'll just read this one out. So this was, okay, so these we've got Fillmore 1, Fillmore 3, Fillmore 4. So Fillmore 1 says, I won't back down jamming me little girl. Walls shaking all over, diddy dwa diddy. I want you back again, Goldfinger. The best of everything, the image of me. You don't know how it feels. Little Maggie, Deportee, King's Highway. I got a woman, I'm so lonesome I could cry. Apartment song, Asshole, Good To Be King, Mary Jane's Last Dance, Running Down A Dream, and then the encore, Free Fall and Climate Hill. But they've also made notes on this with uh, adjustments to the to the order of the set list, which is, again, just super cool, handwritten. Um, and they put Stick To You and Time Is On My Side, which is on the Fillmore box set, which is just mwah, so good. And then uh, You Wreck Me Instead Of Climb That Hill at the end, which is kind of cool. So three of those, and you get so cool too, because. Obviously, they're scanned and, and uh, photocopied, but they got the fold where the paper would have been folded in the middle. So neat. Okay, next we have anything that's rock and roll. So I think this was the um, the fan uh, sort of newsletter thing that was sent out for the Fillmore, and they've got um, the number of so they've got the set lists. Uh, the number after each song indicates the number of times it was played at the Fillmore during its twenty-run show. Running Down a Dream, all 20. I Won't Back Down, all 20. I Want You Back Again, all 20. Mary Jane's Last Dance, all 20. You Wreck Me, all 20. And those are the only, oh, Jamming Me. Those are the only four songs that were played at every date in the run. That's crazy. Um, the memos, we dig the film, more Tom Face, some quotes, some photos. Just this beautiful 
you know, kind of monochrome, but that sort of purpley, a purpley monochrome thing. It's just, this is just so cool. I'm going to spend a lot of time reading this and pouring over it, which is fantastic. We got that. Then we have the lithograph. Beautiful. I'm definitely getting this framed. 100% getting this framed. So that's the lithograph of the album cover. Then we get the booklet. So this is the, and I think this came in the, the CD as well that we got for the, um, I hosted one of the Tom Petty um, Nation listening parties for the album uh, last week. So yeah, this is the same thing, but in, in you know large format, which is just great. And again, it's got that same super high quality feel to the print. It's, it's nice and matte. Fonts are all beautiful. It's fantastically laid out. So it says here, opening night, that the first night, the old hallowed hall buzzed with anticipation. A psychedelic light show danced on a screen behind the band. Petty was nervous, straight off the plane to the gig and dressed in a custom chocolate brown velvet suit. That guy must have been hot. Imagine under the lights. I mean, he obviously wouldn't have worn the whole thing all night, but my God, that would be hot. Tons of photos. Ah, oh, there's Howie. Oh, look, Howie. God, we miss him, eh? So they got into the act. Many of the people in the crowd became repeat offenders, attending as many shows as they could. They got into the act, shouting out requests for Fillmore-only songs like The Heartbreakers Beach Party and playing along with Petty on his uh, inevitably rambling introduction to Gloria, which grew longer every night under their encouragement. So again, you know, you don't get that at a, on a tour. You just don't get those kinds of things where you get the same people coming three, four, five nights in a row and you've got these sort of little audience interaction pieces that they also get familiar with and you can build on that. You just don't... You don't get that in a, in a tour usually with the band, right? So this that's why probably this was so special to Tom and the Heartbreakers. And of course then, you know, jamming with the hero. So you've got <laughs> Carl Perkins. Oh my God, Roger McGuinn. Yeah, John Lee Hooker. They die again, just ridiculously cool. Look at that. Tom Petty and John Lee Hooker. Two absolute legends together on stage at the film, which is so small. How cool would it be to be that close to that kind of concert? Oh man. Lots more pictures, and then again the artwork there, the, the black and white, the photo, uh, the black and white uh, poster for the Fillmore uh, gigs. And the house band patch that we get here. This is everybody knew how special this scene was and how lucky everybody was to be there. They understood this was a workshop for the band and could see them turning a corner into their future as the shows progressed. And it says here they played 85 songs, including at least one new song every night. They arranged the four corners of American music blending British invasion era sounds with acoustic country rock, hard driving heartbreakers, instrumental excursions with subtle, intricate and intimate interplay. Check out this photo. Absolute badass. Tom Petty badass. Yeah, and then all the, uh, so yeah, produced by Ryan Yuliadi and Mike Campbell. Uh, executive producers Ben Montench, Adria Petty, Anna Kim Violet and Dana Petty. So that's, again, you know, this is a love affair, this is a family affair, and I think I remember reading that Dana had said that this was when sort of sort of officially announced that uh, she and Tom were dating, so obviously very special for her too, that this would have significant memories. So that's all sort of the additional extra stuff that we get in the, in the, in the box set. So I'll just slide that back in there for now and put that to one side, and we get the albums. So here we go, now we've got to pull up, now we've got to lift. And yeah, beautiful, high, again, really high quality stuff here. This box, it's really cool. So we'll just we'll just sleeve one, maybe. I think that's what we'll do. But remember, kids, always handle your vinyl carefully. Don't touch the vinyl. So again, you get that beautiful Heartbreakers logo with the sort of psychedelic middle, and then on the back side, you get the track listing for side one and side two. Um, it doesn't tell you which is side one and side two. Now I'm going to guess that that's side one. Could be wrong when I put it on tomorrow or this weekend. I'm not sure when I'm listening to these. Um, I'll find out. Now, I had decided that I'm, what I want to do is um, sit and listen to all six albums back to back to back to back to back to back. Um, and I haven't listened to the, um, the album on Spotify or Apple Music or anything yet because I want to... This is how I want to listen to this for the first time. I did listen, obviously, to the, the two CD set at the listening party, but... For the whole thing, the full experience, I want to listen to these because listen to this on vinyl, it's the way it's got to be listened to, folks. Vinyl's in. You've got to get vinyl. Okay, so I'm going to sort of drop this back in here. And I don't know, how, how do you end? How does one end a, an unboxing video? Do you just sort of leave? Would you say goodbye? Or do you... 
And what, and what also, what does one do with all the extraneous stuff that Don doesn't need? Just put it back in the box, I guess. So there we go. That is Tom Payne and the Heartbreakers, live at the Fillmore 1997 box set, on vinyl, deluxe edition. Beautiful. I highly recommend picking, highly recommend picking this up if you can, and I highly recommend getting this through your local record store. Um, it's important to support local business, and you know, even if you do pay 10 bucks more, if you can afford it, obviously, um, it's worth doing because vinyl record stores, they're such an important part of the community. Ask Tom Petty, he grew up around those things, he spent a lot of time at Lillian's, um, and when those places go away, communities where kids can find interesting music and talk about music together, they kind of go away too, so go support your local record stores, go to Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Bye-bye.